Why, hello and welcome back to another Lotro Guide. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron And today, my friends, I want to talk about the difference between uh, free to play and VIP in Lord of the Rings Online. There's been a big, huge update revamp just in 2022, the year of this video of the free-to-play system in the Lord of the Rings Online. I've always considered it one of the best there has been for MMOs, especially classic MMOs, but it is now even better. So the free-to-play system now is great. You can play up to 90, level 95. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to pop over to the wonderful Lotro Wiki page that it was just updated only a couple a little while ago, and it has some great layout and comparisons, which I will have link in the description of this video if you want to click on it yourself. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this did help you, even if you don't watch the whole video. And um, if it would be great if I earned it. And the next episode for guys will be up there, of course, too. But anyway, guys, so what are better? From someone who's played the game a long time, I feel like the game, even with the new revamped system, we still, you can play all the way up to 95 very well now. There's a lot of, they got rid of a lot of caps and a lot of things that make free to play completely fun. If you're someone who just wants to try the game, even if you don't want to play it later, just try it. The free to play is really fun. It doesn't feel like you have walls or anything. It used to be pretty good too, but there were several things later that kind of felt like wall caps if you didn't do a little work. There were if free ways to stop them, like there was a currency cap and stuff, an in game currency, and they changed that now with the, free, the new free to play update. There's none of that anymore. So it is very fun, very nice. So you can do the free to play system. Now, again, I recommend being a VIP in the game, and I recommend if you're going to be a VIP, do the three month at a time subscription because then it makes it less than $10 a month US dollars instead of being a $15 a month game uh, if you do one month at a time. So I recommend doing the three month chunk at a time. I've showed that in other videos if you're curious. But um, again, if you're gonna be a VIP. But if you're gonna be free to play, you wanna know the differences between free to play and VIP. Well, one thing is rested XP, but let's just pop right over to the uh, next tab here and I will show you. So let's hop over to this, that, uh, all right, we have accounts here, yep. That's the right one. All right, we're gonna talk about it right now. So this is the VIP page. It's gonna be a little small for you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom it in here just a little bit so we can have a little bigger for you guys to be able to see it. Again, you can click on the link down there if you want to look at it yourself and go through it yourself as well, of course. But again, there are a couple different kinds of accounts that are important to know. There's free to play, which is the system basically you download the game right now, right? Uh, I'll link it down there too if you wanna try the game, make it fast for you to find it. It's lotro.com. This is the Lotro Wiki. This is more of a people put this together, right? It's a great, great addition to help with the game though. Premium accounts are upgraded uh, basically what, when you've been a VIP one time, if you go back to free to play, you actually go back to like a premium level account. So that's another little side note there. Um, Founders, lifetime, these are things you will never not be able to hear a new player. You'll never be able to get these again, so don't worry about that. Um, that's some special thing from back when the game first started. Uh, VIP is a very important person, right? Player account status is one of the accounts, players. We're gonna go through all this right now. But anyway, what are the differences, right? What are the differences? Okay, the VIP account discussion. Uh, acquiring VIP status. Currently, VIP status can be acquired by maintaining an active subscription through the Lotro in-game store. I mean, that doesn't matter. You don't need to know this. I just talked to you about that. It's a monthly subscription, just like most games or MMOs. Again, the Lord of the Rings Online, every game is going to want you to put money towards it to keep it alive, right? That's just the, the flat thing. Whenever you hear the term free-to-play game, now that our, our systems, many games are free-to-play, they're not really free to play, right? Someone has to pay for the server, someone has to pay for the people who work on the game, right? So what happens is, let's say, example, League of Legends, right? A very common game, definitely free to play. You can completely enjoy it without ever spending a penny on the game. But how do they keep their game going? They make a cosmetic skins, they do all that kind of stuff. MMOs, on the other hand, a lot of times back in the day from the models of MMOs, where they were, you would buy the game and then you would pay for a monthly subscription and then would kind of support the game and they give you more content and add more and add more and add more, right? Well, everyone's had to adjust and change that formula, right? So for Lotro, you can do free to play. You can download the game without paying for it. Do free to play, thoroughly enjoy it. You can have hundreds of hours of enjoyment without doing anything. Now, if you really get into the game though, and you wanna support the game and all that kind of stuff, you might wanna go for VIP, right? So again, let's get to the point of what's what are the differences. Uh, a drawback of VIP can be a couple things. Um, it, it makes, basically, uh, you, if you, you might level too fast past certain levels, but there's a whole, there's a level stopper thing in, 
that you can do for that too. So don't even worry about that if you're a new player. So let's do this. I'm going to um, minus it back because I kind of want to see. So there's a typical account information. Uh, again, you can look through all of these yourself, but I want to look at the comparisons here. So here's the comparisons, right? We're going to talk about this. VIP, premium, free to play. So really what you're really going to be talking about is free to play versus VIP. Again, if you were a VIP once, your account goes back to a premium player, okay? So that's what you need to think about. So let's just compare here. Uh, one big one is you get free 500 loacher points a month, okay? Free 500 loacher points a month is really a lot of money. It's like, I think they're giving you back like, again, this is made up in-game currency, right? But they're giving you basically, you're gonna flat buy 500 points. It's a good chunk. It's like $11 or something, $12. So you're almost getting back in loacher points what you pay for for your monthly subscription if you're doing only $10 a month by buying the three chunk. So that's a good one right there, right? And then, uh, so then we've got, you can kind of compare here. Well, World Access is always free. Unlimited with, uh, those are always free. You can go through here and see all the things. Again, free to play now can have all the levels. Their level cap is 140. You get, so again, free to play is fantastic. As you can see here, there's really with the base game, there's, you're not losing anything. Uh, character slots, you get seven per server. All right. With a uh, VIP, you only get two on free to play so that's one huge one right there um and when you go when you buy vip once and then if you go back to the premium account which is how that works uh you'll have five server slots so you'll permanently get some if you have vip just for a month all right uh, so there's some things you get to keep for that uh, and again the premium and free to play since they're kind of similar in that way basic premium like i just said is you vip for a little while and you pop back you know to free to play which is fine to do it doesn't affect your game you can still play uh totally with that I do it sometimes when I back when I wasn't playing as much in college, but the money um, is basically you can have all the content up to level 95 when you're free to play. Now, um, when you're VIP, you get every single quest pack. You can purchase higher levels with free to play. So if you earn the Lotro points through deeds, which is another way you can earn Lotro points, you can purchase past so that you can do work to get past level 95. But really, once you get to 95, if you're enjoying the game that much to get to level 95, you guys, you might want to just put in a little bit of money, support the game, support yourself having fun, and go VIP. I recommend the VIP. But then you basically get all the content up to the top. Now, the only thing you'll have to do now, free to play and with VIP, is that you will have to, if you haven't bought the most newest expansion for level 140, you may have to buy that for some of that content to have the fates of Gundabad. So that's what they're doing now. It used to be you have to buy expansions. Maybe we do sales and buy the littler expansions. They've gotten rid of that to make it a lot easier for you guys with VIP, with free to play versus VIP. They've made it where all free to play just get all the lower expansions all the way up to 95. And basically what VIP does is you don't have to buy the other quest packs past 95. You just get all of them too. So you just have everything, right? So that's pretty nice to have. All right, inventory slots. You get 75 inventory slots slots versus 45 all right this is a huge one with vip okay so inventory slots that's gonna be you can purchase additional increments up to five had to have 135 and you can actually do that with the um free to play as well so for my account if i go back to free to play i actually noticed i've never my my don't change so either they allow you to keep it or i've bought all of them up to 35 so you could you get Lotro, you can use Lotro points in the store if you want to stay free to play. You've earned Lotro points, you could buy extra inventory slots still. But that's a nice one to just kind of have more slots as VIP right off the bat. Because it's just annoying to not have that. It used to be a gold limit on free to play after the 2020 revamp of free to play. There's the gold cap is 9,999 on every character, which is that's a crazy amount of money. I've never even seen that much money on a character. Um, so you're good. Don't even worry about that. Um priority login okay so this is very interesting i didn't even know that there was a priority for login probably like if multiple people log in at once basically it it starts logging people in boop 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 into the server it probably prioritizes people who are vip or who have been vip obviously high or you just have a standard login so you might get stuck with everyone else standard with free to play again there's never i've never seen a wait time on login servers so this isn't even an issue to worry about okay so if you want to be free to play be be free to play 
um, chat, unlimited, limited, limited. I'm not sure what kind of limiting chat. I've never seen a limiter when I'm on my free to play accounts or on my, you know, premium. So don't worry about that. Um, that's not really a big issue either. Okay, again, we're looking at the big ones. Slots, that's a huge one. Characters, having character slots, more character slots, having more inventories. These are the big ones for VIP so far. Okay, those are the ones you really care about. And you have all the content and all the quest packs without having to purchase them with v more past 95. So really, if you're up to 95 free to play, you might want to do that. There's a couple other big ones too we're going to talk about in a second here. Again, this is really handy. They did this. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, auction, 30 active things, five active things. So if you're someone who uses the auction hall or the basically the selling market in the game, the in-game market of selling items and stuff, you're going to want to be a VIP because you're going to have, be able to have a lot more bids. Oh, I'm, a lot more things active listed. So you can have 30 things on the auction hall versus only five. But you can increase that with purchasing, but there's really... I don't really see a point to that. Um, listing purchasable, uh, five active listings. Oh, you can't even list stuff on the auction hall with free to play. I did not know that. This was updated, it said. So I didn't even realize that. You know why? Because I've been VIP and you can still list five things as a premium. Again, so if you're VIP one time, that upgrades your your account forever for as a premium, even if you go back to free to play, which is, premium free to play that if you've purchased one month okay so then you'll be able to think but you can bid on stuff you can still buy stuff off the auction hall or you can purchase more or whatever but uh so listings are purchasable but you don't get to list stuff on the auction hall so that's a big one if you're gonna really get into the game and start using the auction hall which you should vip is good for that unlimited mail access wonderful all right limited by currency cap all right with with the mail um how much you can send money through the mail, I believe, cannot mail um, currency at all. So you can't send money through the mail to another character, which is really kind of weird. And another one that they don't say here that's super important is when you're a VIP, you can access the mailbox from anywhere. So you can just go to your social panel down in the bottom left. I'll show you right now, we'll pop back over. So if I just go right here and I go to social panel, go to mailbox, boom, it can open it and I can access and use it. If you're free to play, you're gonna have to look for a mailbox at your home or go around the world and find a mailbox and right click it to access it, okay? So that's a, that's another big one for the difference of free to play versus regular. This is very handy. With my knowledge on top of having this page, ooh, we're gonna, go through, we're gonna get through all this. You guys will know exactly, you'll be experts by the end. Um, so, unlimited rested XP. This is really, really nice. You do not get rested XP at all. Um, it's automatic for a VIP rested XP. I've talked about this in other videos. So if I go over here, down here at the bottom, you see how this blue line, if I hover this and this, it gives me some info right here. Okay, down at the bottom right there. And it says you need certain amount of XP to get to level 136. It says remaining VIP bonus, which is the rested XP they're talking about is four million more xp i can use towards that and remaining purchased xp is a huge number down there and that's something you can get as free to play too but uh you can also get that rested through going to your wallet perks and as you level use this that's accelerated xp it's the same thing it's the purchased xp you can also get it through deeds and through little items that you get but the vip that they stack i have a whole episode on xp if you want to go watch that episode it's very precise very quick about all the xp so that is a nice thing. There are XP limiters you can get as well. If you're worried to over level, I have a video on where should you be right level kind of stuff, you know, and what level. But if you just want to level quickly, and you're not really too worried about that, having the rest of the XP is fantastic. You get a certain amount per day when you go to sleep on your character, it can't, it doesn't infinitely stack. Basically when you log off the next day, you'll have a certain amount back, okay? So that's what that is. That is really nice for VIP, I really like that. Uh, standard bake shared bank purchasable 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 so what they're saying here is everyone gets a bit of a shared bank no matter what the vault is different than shared storage shared storage is in the bank too and in the vault i have some videos on storage and stuff if you want to look at those as well um on the guide playlist here but the purchasable versus non means you can get you could add more to it but they're all gonna have access i believe to shared storage this isn't really good how whoever wrote this on the wiki it, they'll all have access to that it's just 
That's why it's good I'm here to explain this, right? Otherwise, you probably would have no idea. Uh, skirmishes, maximum, maximum, maximum. There's a certain limit, uh, or it, basically everyone can do skirmishes. There's no caps on that. Traits, all traits and class bonus skills unlocked. Uh, they, there's no cap between free to play. This has all been updated, so don't even worry about it. Th these are things that will affect your game greatly if these were capped as free to play. They are not, okay? So a lot of the VIP is quality of life things, not things that will affect the game and make it pay to win, which is great. And Lotra's never been like that, even previously. But um, it was more quality of life things than things that were just kind of like more like frustratingly. Like, I'm so glad that they got rid of the currency cap and the new updated free to play because there was no point to have that as a thing they need to be, have some encouragement right for us to want to play vip but at the same time they don't want to do it annoyingly right and make it frustrating for us um so next one crafting tiers one through 14 you can do all the crafting nope nope free to play or not great no word crafting guilds uh you have to purchase crafting be able to be use the crafting guilds you have to purchase something if you're a on any version of the free to play right with the regular free to play or with the other one if you you won't have any issue if you're vip you can use all of them all right so that's a higher level crafting stuff so that is kind of important so if you're if you're a big crafter if you're really again if you're really into the game at that point you're using the auction hall and you're crafting then you'll probably want to be a vip but if you're not if you're just playing to do the, the quests and play with people and see the story of lord of the rings and enjoy the world you can th if you're a new player you can just try free to play for a while just see if you like the game you guys you don't have to feel like you have to like every aspect of the game but do you enjoy it enough to play it right right that's the goal right do you enjoy it enough to play it then do you enjoy it enough that you'd like more convenience and more things you can use right for vip um housing everyone can get housing right now there is a housing area now that they don't explain here that's a vip housing area okay which means you have to be a vip to purchase it i believe um but that it, but the regular housing areas they give you a chest in the four locations of michael delving arid lewin kellendim and uh breland homestead those are all you can use that no matter what you can go buy yourself a house now if you want to get one in dol amroth the two in rohan or the one in area uh, uh, excuse me erebor uh the dwarven home those are all VIP homesteads. I believe you have to be VIP to purchase the house. If I'm wrong on that, please someone leave a comment and I will thumbs it up. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head with that one. Music system. Everyone can use the music system. It's basically the instrumental system in the game. Fantastic. The best one of any MMO or game I've ever seen. We, we have a whole thing. Go watch my live content playlist. I have a seven hour video. We went to an entire show, a bunch of us, and watched it. It was fantastic. There were like 200 in person players there. We had like 300 people show up for the stream over the whole stream. So, anyway, side note. Uh, moving on, just in case you want to check out other stuff on the channel besides this guide video. Um, cosmetic systems everyone gets three outfits for free, and you can purchase more. Doesn't matter who you are. So, that has nothing to do with VIP versus free to play. Don't worry about that. Um, cosme uh, shared wardrobe. Um, so a wardrobe basically is the cosmetic system where you can put items you like that'll stay there in that wardrobe forever and any character on that server can use those as a look and they'll stay in there but you can use them as a look like how your character looks. You can purchase it at free to play but really you can only use them on VIP the free 20 slots. Again it's a convenience thing right with VIP more more content more fun things but it will not affect your gameplay because it's for looks it's nothing to do with your actual equipment. Um, destiny point or points can earn and spend perks they are you all can earn it that does not affect anything that is what I just showed you about getting the enhanced XP with the little wallet and as you level you will earn those so everyone gets those no issue. The Hobbit gift daily hobbit gift it's just a fun little free roll thing it gives you every day you can use points i would recommend not using your mithril coins to roll more but just use the free one daily um you get one silver one per day and one gold one per week as a as a vip you only get one silver one per day if you're free to play in a, either versions of the free to play right whether you've paid once for vip or you've never paid for vip you still get a free silver one per day uh the gold one is the free one per week if you're a vip so that's an extra side thing uh, vip reward quest access okay uh can obtain these special extra things and yes you get some extra vip access rewards 
there's a lady who's like a VIP person who stands around the world. And you can go to her and you can talk to her and accept the quest and turn it into her and she'll give you these special little things, okay? So that in crafted time and then again, extra convenience things, right? They will not help you with the other ones. This will not work. You have to be a VIP player to use her and talk to her and you know get the quest from her. Monster play, unlimited. Uh, no, you, okay, so. You can, I'm, I'm, this is weird how they labeled this, but f when you're, when you play monster play as a free to play player, you can play the Reaver class as an orc. Uh, it says no free access. You can't come with your free to play character. So as a free to play player, they want to give you a taste of the uh, player versus monster player zone, which is the PVP zone. So you can bring your, you can go in and play on the bad side and play as a Reaver. So as a free to play player, you can go and play as a Reaver, which is one of the strong bad classes. It's like an orc that uses like double swords and he's really fast and just raging and monster barbarian think D, D barbarian monster um but as a monster as an oh as a vip you have full access to that again another thing that will not affect your your entire connection to the game at all it will not but if you're someone who really likes pvp and you know a server there's a couple servers that have a lot of it still in the lord of the rings online um if you're going for that once you're at that level and you want to be on the free-to-play side again v to pay S sorry <laughs> Not free to play side, uh, free people's side versus monster player side. Those are the two factions, right? Um, you'll have to be a VIP. Excuse me, I got so tongue tied with those words right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, community features read posts, reposts, read posts. Uh, so a little bit limited with posting for free to play, but if you've gotten one VIP once, there's no difference between the um those two in-game support you get full access full access for 30 days following the purchase of lotro points uh self-service online so interesting um if you are a free-to-play player for in-game support things they will help you if you've bought any points in the last 30 days now i have a feeling that they probably help people anyway because they're a pretty great support team but this is probably if they get flooded with stuff they're gonna at obviously people who pay for their account monthly are going to get more service in that way or pay for points they do a self-service thing online but technical support of the game's breaking this is something totally different. In-game support would be like something like maybe you mess something up yourself and totally your fault. You're like, I deleted an item. I need help. Then they 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 probably still help you is my guess. But it might be better to be a VIP at that point. Uh, technical support, of course, they get full access, everything. Account management or issues, of course, everyone gets the same on that. All right. As of March 2022, which is what I told you, the maximum number of character slots per server is 46. So... If you, for some reason, have 46 characters on the same server, I don't know why you would have that many characters. I'm crazy. I have, like, 23, and people still think that's insane. So I don't think you need to worry about that. Purchase of Lotro Adventures Pack. Uh, got two extra slots. Uh, you get some uh, option no longer available. There's some things. The intro, uh, they introduced the Bjorning uh, update, 15 allowed for purchase additional character slot for the Bjorning. These are some extra ways you can get slots. Uh, again, you're not really going to need to worry about these VIP versus free to play content. So, so points to note, all content released before and including Helm's Deep, which is the level 95 update right away for free to play is available to all players. So there you go. Free to play versus VIP. All landscape areas in the Lord of the Rings online are open to free to players uh, while free players can explore and kill monsters in these areas they cannot complete side quests containing without first purchasing the quest pack so what this means is there's some er most areas are connected in the world where you can just walk in okay so if you're a free to play player and you really want to go see an area that's high level you want to see something really high uh i think you can walk all the way i think you can walk all the way to mordor if you wanted to so as a free to play player. Now, could you do the quests? No, you cannot pick up quests from quest givers, but you can kill the monsters there if you're high enough level. If you somehow just grinded by killing things, you could still be over there killing stuff, right? So that's what they're saying. That's the example there. But if you're free to play, you can buy the quest pack, which is the expansion. See, quest pack or expansions, it says right here. Again, it's covering it up. Let me just uh, show you here. There, so you can, you can actually read it. For those areas all epic quests are free 
Okay, what does that mean? What does all epic quests mean? That means if you're a free-to-play player, you will still be able to completely and utterly play all the stories. So if you just want to play the game to go through the awesome storylines and great music in this game, you are set on free-to-play. So again, you're, you're asking, what is the point of having VIP then? The point of VIP is basically as follows. Rested XP, you get more character slots, you get more inventory slots, you can get access to using the auction hall for posting, you get crafting as a summary, uh, you get a bunch of extra bonuses. There is, there is a lot to being free to play that adds a lot. I've noticed it adds a lot, but with the new free to play revamp, you can seriously enjoy this game without ever having to do any of that and worrying about any of that with this game you guys so again it's really really awesome i would recommend vip if you really get into the game but you know what if you're a new player and you just want to try lotro just know it's great and if you need someone to help guide you through the game don't forget to like and subscribe i'm here as all an iron shield and that's one of my goals of this channel again this channel focuses on all lord of the rings content so we'll do a lot of different things but my canvas is really lord of the rings online i do a lot through this game a lot of guides a lot of voiceovers and playing through the stories because that's one thing they do do voices and they have great storyline and music but they don't always have a whole lot of voiceovers doing the entire quest lines like all the information so that's what we've been doing on our, our other character on a Lotro Tale playlist. But again, you guys have a great day in Middle Earth. I hope that helped you out with the difference between free to play and VIP to give you some good stuff. Again, I'll have the link down there for that article if you want to look more detailed yourself. But really, there are definite bonuses. Oh, and then of course, PVP. You really have to be a VIP to play it. Really enjoy VV PVP. But again, Lord of the Rings Online doesn't really heavily focus on PvP. I, as someone who used to play a lot of PvP in this game, really hope they kind of revamp that a little bit more. And at the time of 2022, they might be thinking about that. So there's a lot of people rejoining this game right now. It's a great time to play Lotcher, great community, and I highly recommend it, you guys. And I also highly recommend you subscribe if I earned it. Ha ha ha, right there. You guys have a great day in Middle Earth. Thank you to my wonderful Patreons for supporting the channel. I probably could not do it without your guys' support. And, um, I really couldn't. Thank you, guys. And up there is the next episode for guides, and over there is a Lotro Tell Me main content. So check them all out, and you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth.